Good morning, Alice. I need you to manage the ebook of Waking Eyes. I thought you'd be the perfect person for the job. What? You're doing the Waking Eyes release? I totally identified with her. Didn't you? Oh my God, look at you. <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? Uh, I just finished my first draft of my new book, so I'm here to deliver it. It's been far too long. This is Milan Doniker. Uh, this is my daughter, Alice. Hey. I would like to read a story. It's nothing. Why don't you let me decide? Why don't you just say, hey, about that little thing that happened 15 years ago that you never owned up to or apologized for like you should have. You don't do publicity for someone who hurt you. It's my job. This is the new story. I'm not really sure about the ending. It's good. You made notes all over it. It only becomes real if we give it concrete data. You've written seven novels since Waking Eyes. None has become a kind of cultural icon. How does a man in his 40s perfectly capture the essence of a teenage girl? It's just something that I do. See that look in a guy's eyes like he wants me. The only thing that makes me feel real. Your mother told me what you said. Maybe misinterpret something. It's perfectly natural to have feelings for someone who you look up to. I'm flattered. What are you doing at home? Is there someone in there? What the hell are you doing? I need to not see you for a while. I do this because I believe in your talent. I know. You were one of the few people who ever actually seemed to see me. It's a beautiful character. And I've been living in her shadow for 15 years years. You used me. Still she haunts me, phantom-wise. Alice moving under skies, never seen by waking eyes. You're the girl in the book, aren't you? 